cover, so I'm just gonna get into it if that's all right with you. Um, got a lot of issues with microwaves. Okay, got a lot of issues with microwaves. Number one, the number nine button. Why is that there? <laughs> I will bet my left tit that not a single one of you could look me in the eyes and tell me that you've ever pressed the number nine button. <laughs> Which is saying a lot, because the left one is the normal one. <laughs> um, number two, why doesn't our microwaves automatically mute between the hours of 11 p.m. and 7 a.m.? Because when I'm high out of my gourd, microwaving my dino nuggies at 2 a.m., I don't need my microwave narking on me to my parents. And now I don't live with my parents, but when I'm high, I don't remember that. <laughs> And number three, and most importantly, the popcorn setting, all right? Every bag of popcorn says in big, bold letters, do not use the microwave setting, or the, the popcorn setting on your microwave. That's bullshit, but I looked it up on the internet, and it said because that's a fire hazard, which I imagine all our microwaves collectively are like, what are you making there? Oh, some popcorn? Yeah, you just want a snack? Like, like you're hungry, but you're not like hungry, hungry. Oh yeah, it's a good source of, uh, of whole grains, yeah? Kill yourself. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> anyway, I'm not religious. Um, I'm not even spiritual, really. Well, I don't know, I did ask my dad to promise me to haunt me after he dies. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He'll probably just haunt a Home Depot. <laughs> You guys ever think about how many dad ghosts are haunting Home Depot? It's probably a lot. I took a Ouija board to a Home Depot one time and it just spelled out, when was the last time you changed your oil? <laughs> no, I swear to God, I swear to God. I got it on tape, I watched the tape back and I saw a bright white orb of light floating over a freshly windexed pair of New Balance sneakers. <laughs> so, think about it. Uh, damn, I don't have time to finish that joke. Do you guys want to hear an embarrassing story instead? Yeah. Never told anyone? Yeah. All right, so I was 14 years old, never kissed anybody. I had, uh, I was in the church. I was, I was very religious at this age. I got the number of a hot Jimmy John's delivery driver. Never talked to a boy before. We were texting. I asked him what he liked to do. And he said, oh, I do music. And also, I like to ride my crouch rocket. Me being the sheltered kid that I was, I did not know what a crotch rocket was, so I assumed it was a euphemism for masturbating. <laughs> and proceeded to berate him in a text message and then block his number immediately. Um, and then uh, my freshman year of college, I returned back home on a break. I ran into him. He remembered me. Uh, we chatted for a bit, uh, and he's like, yeah, why didn't we talk anymore? And I was like, oh, because I'm fucking stupid. Um, and then our two flesh became one in a Buffalo Wild Wings bathroom. And then, yeah, and then afterwards I texted him, hey, thanks for letting me ride your crotch rocket, and I never heard from him again. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Janine Copeland.